Maxi. <laughs> Hey Pisces, what's up? This is Soul here and we're going to look at some energy for you for June and July regarding love and uh, romance messages for you for those two months and I had set the intentions for uh, two months. Now I did mention some of it in that uh, video that I posted prior to doing the videos but it was after I recorded that that I had set the intentions on the cards to carry the energy uh, through the month of June and also extend it out to uh, July as well. So it might be a little bit of confusion if you if you watch that video, um, but this is for uh, June and July. Okay, so with that being said, Pisces, I hope all is well. I hope you guys have been staying safe and um, you know just you know enjoying life as much as you possibly can. So. Uh, as before, I'm using the Victorian Romantic uh, Tarot deck, and then I'm using three cards from Sandra Brown's Love Oracle deck. They're just messages, and you can use them any way that you want. All cards should be in the upright position here, and we always start off with the shadow. So, the shadow energy may or may be, or may or may not be some energy that plays out along uh, with the rest of the cards that will be selected. But if it is a major arcana, it will be. Uh, energy that plays out most definitely okay so let's begin and see what's coming up for you potentially and also too I mentioned in the video one of the videos because these are all general readings so what I lay out here for you and it doesn't play, take place between now and the end of June then maybe the energy is uh, something that takes place in July either or you know so you can look at look at it that way. That's why I set the intentions for June and July to have that energy stretch uh, that far. Okay. All right. So let's begin. And your shadow. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Pentacles is the forgiveness card uh, for me, at least. Anyway, um, someone is either going to forgive you, apologize for something that they've done to you, and then this is the acceptance of you accepting. Um, you know the apology because it's an even balanced number of pentacles here so it's the um apology that comes forth and then it's the acceptance so there's clearance here and acceptance uh for some sort of transgression that may have been um thrown your way keep in mind pisces that this is a um, minor card so it may or may not play out like i have spoken before but this is what this is all about okay this is about forgiveness uh and accepting uh some sort of apology uh, thinking in terms of your relationships um, <clears throat> this is for Pisces that are single this reading the messages and Pisces that are coupled so this card here is the theme for the next two months of energy maybe some energy that you may um, need to focus on or may not need to focus on but we'll see what it is okay as we open it up and it's the Major Arcana, the Justice card. And this is a very good card to start off with because it's, number one, it's about balance, okay? Things being in balance. Take your relationships. So you don't have to worry um, about your relationships being unbalanced, off kilter, or whatever. This Justice comes in here to keep it balanced, all right? And because of all of the, you know, the fiery red cape, her red hair uh we have red up well that's the cape and then the fire down here at the bottom um i could be reading for some pisces who are already engaged or involved in relationships with fire signs aries leo and sagittarius justice of uh not justice of the peace the justice shows up here because it could be that you know june somebody gets married and it's in front of the justice of the peace. I just spoke about this in the other videos where June is the best, well, regarded as the month of most weddings held. Okay, so that could still be a possibility. And then someone could be just having a small informal wedding and it's in front of the justice of the peace. The doves at the ba uh, base of her feet is that peace and that harmony throughout. Okay, throughout. So... 
that also could be connected to the shadow where I say that there's some sort of uh, forgiveness coming in and then there's some sort of acceptance that would be the doves here at the base of her feet so you have to look forward to Pisces the very you know balanced energy when it comes to your relationships now this of course is not going to impact um, everyone but for the majority of you I hope that it does okay so seeking balance striking balance being in balance that's the justice card that represents Libra Aquarius and Gemini up next here is the hermit card another major arcana so you know the more uh, arcanas major arcanas that show up the more powerful the energy will be for you and this is actually a pretty good card too um, even though it's a meditative type of uh, uh, energy it's also uh, a thought processing yeah a thought processing type of energy as well meaning that you you know you have to think about something you may have to evaluate something but you're doing all of that uh, by detaching yourself on a temporary basis from all of those things that you are connected to so we're talking about relationships so maybe you meet somebody new and you have to think about this person and this energy and what it means for you and moving forward you may be already in a relationship and you still may have to detach on a temporary basis to thinking you know think about evaluate the relationship the site here is always about you always coming up with the answer so you know this is never a bad card it's just that you need a moment alone to gather your thoughts to get things in order so that you can make the proper decisions and moving forward and connect that to your relationships the hermit represents Virgo uh, specifically and then all the other earth signs Taurus and Capricorn so this is actually a pretty good card we got two major arcana showing up here for you so far then we have any of these cards show up on the uh, reverse I'm because I have a tendency to switch things around in between readings and forget the uh, orientation King of Wands here this is a father well he's a he could be a father but he's a he, he's passionate okay it's just like the queen of wands she's passionate she's focused the king is just the same very fiery very passionate about their relationships their connections with others um they're focused on their relationships or it could be a single um you know it could be an actual single fire sign that is attracted to um pisces and this person you know turns out to be a little bit older than pisces that's why I started out saying father first, <laughs> like a father figure. So the King of Wands is all about that passion, sexual energy, expression, um, loves to connect with others, just real fiery, okay? And can be at times uh, and a little bit intense. And because he is the king, it could also represent um, female energies as well. Okay, so that's a good card to have as well, representing Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Up next here, Pisces, is, oh, you got another major arcana, the Empress card. Now, the Empress card is all about, it's a relationship card, number one, but it's about the inner beauty, the beauty, outer beauty, all things connected to beauty and they're connected to relationships the doves just like the at the base of her feet <clears throat> like the justice card that's peace and harmony okay feeling um what's the word i'm looking for feeling well just having inner peace it could be inner peace it could be outer peace uh feeling harmonic this is pregnancy news. This is um, childbirth. So the Empress shows up here. Okay, this is about growth and expansion. Um, for some of you, it could be the growth and expansion could be adding family members. Um, you know, it could be the relationship goes to another level. Uh, so the Empress is a very good card to receive in a reading. Okay, so what's next? After the Empress card here, Pisces, we have look at that the ace of swords ace of swords is victory and success starting uh, of new things making major decisions uh, taking action all to benefit you uh, in the long run okay there's a lot of determination here with the ace of swords ace of swords represents uh, air Gemini Libra and Aquarius so there's some sort of victory and success to be had in the next two months when it comes to your relationships you got justice on your side you have uh the imprints on your side you got the passionate 
energy of the king of wands wow all right, following the Ace of Swords here, we have the Knight of Wands, okay? So the Knight of Wands is the Knight in Shining Armor. There's two people here on this card. That's why I said there's somebody dealing with the fire sign. Um, we got the King of Wands. Now we have the Knight of Wands. So this is, you know, could be somebody older. This is somebody younger. But in retrospect here, the horse here, will ride, you know, he rides in. The Knight comes riding in on his horse. So... One or two things could be said here. This is somebody that is about to enter into your life, Pisces, if you are single. Or it could be that, you know, there's some Pisces that I'm reading for that are already into a relationship. And this is the um, togetherness and the passionate between the two of you that you spend time together. Okay, quality time. But uh, it also could be indicative of how quickly a relationship starts up. Not necessarily that the person comes into your life and then exit your life just as quickly as they come in. No, it may be the rapidness, excuse me, it may be the rapidness of how fast that relationship forms. Okay? And sometimes the uh, driving force would be the passion. Sometimes that um, chemistry, the sexual energy, or all that stuff connected could be the reason why a relationship starts up quick. Um, There is no rule book when it comes to relationships because I know um, usually people who have said <laughs> that, you know, if you start off physically, then, you know, you're not going to end up with a long term relationship. It's best to know, get to know each other and then, you know, enter into the physical. But that's not something that has never been set in stone. It works for some people. It don't work for other people. You know, it all depends on how the chemistry between these two individuals are and how high the degree of passion that exists. So, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Up next is the Four of Wands. This is the happiness card. Okay, so happiness inside of a structure of a building, sharing the same space with the person that you are romantically linked with. It could be for some Pisces who are already in relationships, taking it to the next level and cohabitating, you know, deciding to move in. Um, this does represent movement, so it could be a relocation, a move to a different area. Um, but I see some sort of togetherness here or uh, some form of cohabitation, moving in. Maybe because it's underneath the hermit, maybe that's what you have to think about. Maybe that's what you have to evaluate uh, for some of you and go on the next step. Uh, but you definitely have the support of the Justice card. You definitely have the support of the Emperor's card. And remember, the Ace of Swords is here about making major moves and decisions. And there's some determination that's behind all of that. Four of Wands is about, um, well, it represents the fire signs, of course, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So happiness is representing happiness. Up next is the, oh, now you got the world card. Okay, so Pisces, this is this is looking really good. The energy is really looking good. All right. So, as above, as below, I guess. I don't know where that came from, but this world continues to spin. This is a card full of as so below, as above. Did I say that right? I must have said it wrong or something. But anyway, it just came to me. Um, this is a card of opportunities, all right? When it comes to these relationships, uh, there's nothing but opportunities that exist. So there's, um, you know, no reason why, if you are single, that within the next two months that an opportunity doesn't present itself, which I think it will because the world card mirrors the Knight of Wands. You know, the knight in shining armor, somebody enters into your life and then that's an opportunity. There's happiness in the middle of that. Then you have underneath or over top, I'm sorry, the king of wands. So see how that is? The world card is here. Then we have the king and mirrors the knight. These are two court cards. Then you have all the support of the other cards, the Emperance, Growth and Expansion, Ace of Swords, Determination, su Success and Victory, Justice card, things balancing themselves out one way or the other. So the world can be yours or at your feet, okay, when it comes to these relationships. So I like this energy. Following the world card, Major Arcana, now we have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is one of my Busy Bee cards, but that's okay. 
It just simply means that you could find yourself uh, very busy when it comes to your uh, current relationship or if you are single, just being busy, being out and about, okay, taking care of things, not necessarily taking care of others. So you'll have the energy to do whatever is necessary uh, to help you either form a relationship or just, you know, if you're currently in an ex existing relationship to enjoy that um, and do things with your partner. And it's all about that passion, too, because this would represent passion and nine of wands. It's energy, just like the uh, king of wands. OK, so fiery passion and the knight of wands. All right, so Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo represents that Nine of Wands. And your last card here for this reading, Pisces. Ooh, look at that. And you finish off with the Three of Cups. So it is a time of celebration. For June, July, maybe, you know, depending on where you live, the summer months, everybody wants to be out. Uh, you know, COVID restrictions are, you know, lessening or ending. People just want to be out, enjoying the company of others. So there's birthday celebrations, anniversaries, it could be partners. But this particular card here, the Three of Cups, is not only just representing three females, but there are other people in the foreground and the background. So I get this that it could be like a, a invitation or a little social outing or something like that. And if you're single... You could meet somebody who uh, could be a romantic uh, link. If you are already in a relationship, you're just out here enjoying yourself with your significant other and being surrounded by like-minded individuals. They feel the same way that you do. So it's a lot of reason to be joyous, happy, and having some fun-filled times. So this is your reading for June and July. Oh my God, so this is perfect. Okay, this is perfect. And, you know, this is one of the good cups that shows up. I like the cups to show up for these love readings. But even if this cup didn't show up, you had the world card, you have the justice card. The hermit card is sort of like neutral. And then the Empress card is a good card. And then all the other supporting cards. Wow, Pisces. What a way to come back and, and present a reading for you. Okay, so, but, you know, I hope it bodes well uh, for you. Oh, by the way, I want to do these. Select these three cards from Sandra Brown to support your reading. But I like this energy. Beautiful. But somebody, you know, you can't please everybody. So I couldn't even believe that, you know, I just put up the video just to let people know I was going to be doing videos. And you had people who was disliking. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, they're probably the motherfuckers that I didn't like in the first place or miss in the first place. I'm like, these people are nuts. So anyway, the first card, excuse my language, but no, I don't make no apologies, though. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. It's like, why would you, why would anybody just dislike somebody's video because they're telling you that they're going to be putting up some videos and shit? Just people coming on just disliking your shit because they can. I don't care about that. It's just like, damn, get a life. All right, so the player is someone is playing with your emotions. So Pisces, I hope that no one is playing with your emotions and I hope that you're not playing with someone else's emotions, okay? <clears throat> like these people, the next card up is yes. You wanna know if they love you? This card here says they do. They love you. Plain and simple. And the last card here is attention. You're attracting romance you're attracting romance Pisces so that's a good way to finish off your reading all right so you know I had to get a rant in there right <laughs> anyway Pisces uh, miss you guys love you guys enjoy the summer if you are in the region of summer energies um, enjoy life be happy stay safe and uh, I will talk to you sometime soon. Take care. Bye.